You're listening to The Hello Well with Danielle Show, a podcast taking women of color on a journey exploring all things wellness and power related. We're all about showing you how to put on your oxygen mask first and creating lasting self-care habits that will free you to travel the world and live the life you truly desire and not one you have to fake loving. I'm your host, Danielle Washington. Now let's buckle up and start this journey. Welcome to the Hello Well with Danielle podcast, your weekly mental vacation from the daily grind for busy women who just need a moment to pause, breathe, and woosa. I am your host, Danielle Washington, and I have a question for you. Have you ever had a day where you were just like, you just wanted to say, screw it all, forget everyone, F it, F it, F everyone, F the world, F everything. I am done. I quit. I cannot do this anymore. I'm tired of being the responsible one. I'm tired of being the strong one. I'm, I'm at a point where I kind of really don't want to pick up my kids today. I don't want to make dinner. I don't want to be there for other people. I don't, I want to say F that project and just, you know, skip it. I'm going to miss the deadline. F it. Do you ever have those moments where you're just so drained and exhausted of being responsible that you just want one, one day, one day to guilt-free feel irresponsible? Ah, that's where I am today. That's the space that I'm in. It's been a rough week. Started off with the weekend being in the hospital, dealing with some medical stuff for myself and leaving the hospital feeling like mm, they just kind of were like, good luck, sis, because like, I still had the problems that I came in with and I didn't feel like anything was resolved. They gave me some pain medication, but I was like, that's not going to stop the excessive bleeding that I'm having from these fibroids. That's not going to help with the blood pressure that was 205 over 128. So I'm confused. And then if that wasn't enough, the next day my father decided he needed to go to the emergency room. And so dealing with him having some virus and him not realizing that, wait, that's contagious and I need you to slow down. Because he's focused in on, well, I need my iPhone and I need to convince your mother to take my, my old iPhone because she has an eight. And I'm like, that's, you're not well. And you're worried about an iPhone. Yet here I am trying to be responsible for both of them. And they're, and I just feel like I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of just everything. So in today's episode, I decided to do something different because I feel like I'm not alone in having these moments of wanting an irresponsible cheat day. A day when you've had enough of shouldering the responsibilities and you dream of just saying, screw it all. Screw everything and everyone, even just for a moment. So in today's episode, we're going to do a meditation. The five minutes, not long whatsoever, just to help you navigate these feelings and find your balance because we need that in these moments. Like I want you to feel that it's okay to have these feelings because they are part of you. They're part of the life that we live. So I don't want you to bury them because when you do that causes more problems. So if you can, I invite you to take a moment to put your phone on Do Not Disturb. Tell the folks around you that you're taking a moment to pour into you. And find a quiet space that's just for you, where you can just carve out five minutes to take care of you. So if you haven't already, get into that comfortable seated position or you're lying down. Close your eyes gently and take in a deep breath through your nose, filling your lungs completely, pausing, and now exhaling slowly through your mouth, releasing any tension from your body. And do that again. Inhale deeply. 
pause. And now exhale through your mouth. And one last time, make this one count. Inhale deep, 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 deep. Pause. And slowly exhaling through your mouth, releasing the tension in your body. Taking a moment just to let your breath go back to its natural rhythm. And just notice it. As you inhale, your belly expands. And the exhale, your belly contracts. Thoughts may come up to your mind at this point. I invite you not to focus in on them or try to shoo them away, but just to recognize them and be a witness. That's a thought. That's a sensation. That's a sound. And just continue paying attention to your natural breath. I want you to feel the weight of your responsibilities and the pressures you've been carrying on your shoulders. It probably feels heavy. It feels like a lot. It's hard to move. Acknowledge them, but also recognize that it's okay to take a break. It's okay to take a pause even if it's just for a few minutes. Imagine a warm and inviting place where you can escape from it all. This is your safe space. It could be a cozy cabin in the woods, a beautiful beach that's secluded away from everyone else. It could be your closet or simply a peaceful spot in nature where you can find a space to be alone without any responsibilities. As you picture this place, notice the beauty that surrounds you. Take a moment to using all your senses to really capture the space, noticing the sounds, Maybe it's the gentle rustle of leaves, the soothing sound of waves, or the stillness. This is your sanctuary, a place where you can go to let go of all the responsibilities, let go of being the strong one, the responsible one, and just be you without any judgment, without any guilt, just for a moment. Take a moment just to feel the joy of not being responsible. Having a moment of nothing you need to do, nothing you need to say, it's just, just be. Now imagine a small flame in the center of your being. This flame represents your inner desires, your need for a break, a pause, and your longing for an irresponsible cheat day. It's okay to acknowledge these feelings. It's okay to have these feelings. They're a part of you. And you're not alone. Allow this flame inside of you to grow, filling your entire being with warmth and understanding and grace. Know that it's natural to sometimes feel overwhelmed by the heavy weight of responsibility. Your desire for a break is a sign that it's time to take care of you. It's time to put your oxygen mask on first. And it's okay.
Now imagine a soft, comforting voice within you saying, It's okay to rest. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to not be responsible right now. You're not alone in this. You can find the balance you need. And you're worthy of the pause. You're worthy of the rest. Not because you were responsible in the other times of your life. But just because you breathe, just because you exist, you are worthy of a moment to rest. I invite you to tell yourself, I am worthy of rest. I am worthy of rest. I am worthy of rest. rest." And as you embrace this truth, let go of the guilt and the burden that comes with always being responsible. And just for this moment, give yourself permission to say, screw it, F it. F it to all the expectations and demands placed on you. F it. F it all. Take one final deep breath in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Releasing all the tension, all the guilt, all the responsibility. And letting your body go into a deeper state of relaxation. Relaxing your tongue your jaw, relaxing your shoulder, your neck, relaxing your hips, your thighs, and notice any other place where you are holding on to tension. Inhale deeply and exhale. Feel as if you are letting it wash away from your body with each inhale and exhale and let it float away like a feather carried in the gentle breeze. With each breath, seeing that feather float in the wind as it carries away The guilt of wanting a day where you just can be you without any responsibilities. As it carries away the burdens that come with always being responsible. Just for this moment, feel utter, complete relaxation is all you have to do is be. When you're ready, I invite you to slowly start to bring your awareness back into the present moment, filling your body in the space you're in. Begin wiggling your toes and your fingers, and at your own pace, gently open your eyes, knowing that you can always come back to this space at any time that you need a moment to say, F the world. It's here. This meditation is here. And as we close out this meditation, take a moment just to see how you feel. Maybe it's a time to journal and write what came up. It's essential to find balance in your life. And it's just as essential to take moments to say, screw it. 
I just, I, I, I can't do it. And finding that moment of guilt free moments of being irresponsible. While responsibilities are important, it's just as important to take care of yourself. The concept of an irresponsible cheat day doesn't mean neglecting your obligations, but rather it's a reminder to prioritize your well-being. Finding your way and your version of what is an irresponsible cheat day that works for you or that doesn't give you guilt. We all need it. The purpose behind this is oftentimes we have these moments of wanting this to say screw it, to say F it all. And we let those emotions fester and as we bury them deeper because we're like, no, but we got to be responsible. We can't be irresponsible. We got to be responsible one. It's important to recognize these feelings that you're having because what we tend to do is we feel angry. We feel guilty about having these moments like, I don't feel like picking up the kids. I don't feel like making dinner. I don't feel like listening to my friend right now who's going through something or I just don't feel like finishing this project. And when we don't give ourselves a space to feel these emotions, they show up as dis-ease because they're going to show up some way or another. It shows up as stress. It shows up as feeling drained and feeling exhausted. That's when we start grabbing for food to emotionally ease the pain, grabbing the glass of wine, we have eight hours of sleep and still wonder why we're not feeling rested because we're still not acknowledging those moments and those emotions that we're feeling. That's why something like this is important. It's important to say, hey, some days I really feel like I hate being responsible and it's okay to have those feelings. What's not okay is you bearing it. Because the guilt's going to feel guilty and it's going to fester because you're still having the feelings without acknowledging. You're trying to act like there's like this elephant that's big elephant in the room and you're acting like it's not there, but everyone knows it. Your body knows it. Your emotion knows it. Your spirit knows it. You know it. So I invite you to be easy with yourself. And know that this meditation is here for you whenever you need it. I hope this helps you find some clarity and some balance in your life. Until next time, please take care of yourself as you continue to take care of others. You're worthy of pouring into you and putting your oxygen mask on first. Not because you did anything, just because you exist and you breathe. I'll see you next week. Ciao. Thanks for joining us this week on the Hello Well with Danielle show. Make sure to visit our website, hellowellwithdanielle.com, where you can subscribe to our show on iTunes, Spotify, and Amazon Music and never miss an episode. Also, you can follow us on social media at Hello Well with Danielle on Facebook and Instagram and Hello Well Danny on Twitter. And if you like hella, hella, hella love the show and got some good nuggets out of it, know that I'm not too proud to ask for you to please leave a rating or review on iTunes so that we can continue to expand our reach and help other women of color. Again, thanks so much for listening and I hope to see you next week. Ciao.